just recently today I've heard from two other victims that so it's just a lot to talk about that experienced the same thing that I experienced. The people he was speaking up for turned out to be alleged victims of T.D. Jakes's not so pretty side. You'd be quick to doubt it, but taking a look at the man's history makes it a little difficult to contend. T.D. Jakes was hanging out at a rapper and twerking party. What? That Puff Daddy held. He's sitting right there, old T.D. Snakes. <laughs> Even someone who's been at those parties was shocked at the news of a public preacher showing up there. The rumors surrounding, you know, Diddy and T.D. Jakes. Why would a religious man like himself be at a party which is ain't nothing but sin that's going And it's not just his bodyguard that feels that way. Other people in the entertainment industry with insider knowledge say he's much worse than he appears to the world. See, they're up in another uh, hemisphere than regular too. They're very insulated. They can do what they want. They got people on. It's not every day you get to see famous preachers in the headlines. And in most cases, when you do see them, it's usually for something related to their message. Over the past couple of weeks, T.D. Jakes has gone against this expected tide of people in his line of work, as the famed bishop has been wrapped up in some rather unusual news. Now, his media appearances have taken an even worse direction, with his name making the news right next to allegations of arrest. I mean, unlike most preachers, Jakes is actually no stranger to being the center of media attention. His church growth over the years, coupled with his involvement with several successful figures in the entertainment industry, has earned him an almost unshakable spot in society. And you know what comes with that kind of success? Fame. Well, it seems his messages aren't the only thing he's famous for, as recent news reports are saying the man might not exactly be a follower of his own message. There are successful theologists in the world, and then there are people like Bishop T.D. Jakes, who seem to have figured out a way to bridge the gap between the entertainment community, particularly the hip-hop scene, and biblical messages. Not only has the man been involved with several high-profile figures both within and outside the black community, but his reach even spans into the international scene. However, like many people religious leader alike, Jakes has constantly faced criticism for his associations with several high net worth individuals that most people consider sketchy. The preacher, however, has always let those claims fly right over his head, as he never seemed to pay any mind to people he believed were against him, until now. These days, we're finding out that Jakes might not exactly be the sinless saint many people have thought him to be through the years. See, the thing with getting caught up in controversy after controversy in a world that is ruled by headlines is that at one point or the other, those controversies start to cast a shadow on anything you might be involved in. This was somewhat the story with Jakes, as people started to question whether the bishop might not have been entirely innocent of the claims that have been coming out against him. The fury of this fire became even more intense after not just one, but two people recently came out to admit that they individually had dark experiences involving the preacher being inappropriate with them while they were younger. In an unexpected twist of fate, the preacher's own son also happened to be caught up in a situation that made people more open to believing the recent allegations about him. He might have been caught up in more dire situations in the past, but the timing of these stories couldn't possibly be worse for him. Just like the sinner. You may not even know anything about the message he preaches, but there's almost no chance you haven't heard anything about T.D. Jakes. And while his church might be the main thing that brought him to the center of the media, there have been several other news reports that have kept him there. Some are more unexpected than you'd think, as was the case with the news about his son. Per a Dallas police reports, the son of T.D. Jakes, the Dallas megachurch pastor who's called Homo S a brokenness and declared that he would never hire a S active gay person, was arrested in a gay S sting in Keys Park a while back. Jermaine Donald Jakes faced a charge of indecent exposure after allegedly exposing himself in front of two undercover vice detectives. Senior CPL Janice Crowther, a DPD spokeswoman, confirmed at the time that the detectives were both male. According to the arrest affidavit, the detectives were investigating a citizen complaints of S activity when they observed Jakes and several other unknown males park their vehicles in the lot east of the park. The detectives followed Jakes into a wooded area, where he approached them with his exposed through his unzipped pants, the affidavit stated. Jakes M for several seconds while making eye contact with one of the detectives. The famous bishop's son did not attempt to conceal his 
despite people walking and jogging on a trail nearby, according to the affidavit. Court records say Jermaine Jakes listed his place of employment as TD Jakes Ministries, which most people considered strange because of the situation, but Jakes was later released at the scene after being detained. For those who may not be aware, TD Jakes is the founder of the Potter's House, a 30000 member church in South Dallas. The contrast to this story is that the preacher is a vocal opponent of same-s marriage. He's even been criticized by HIV AIDS activists for undermining the prevention of the disease by stigmatizing homo s and drug use. Yet here's his son literally getting caught with his pants down. On same-s marriage, Jakes once told USA Today. To date, I have not seen scriptural authority that allows me to stand on behalf of God and say I now pronounce you husband and husband and wife and wife. This is an issue the government is undecided about. The Bible is not. Jermaine Jake's attorney, Faith Johnson, issued a written statement the following week. We are aware of potential allegations involving Jermaine Jakes and are undertaking our own investigation of these allegations at this time, the statement said. Given an apparent government investigation, we have no further comment at this time. While it's already sketchy enough that his son was caught up in a rather unusual scandal, the preacher may also soon have to address SA allegations in court after one of his former mentees, Manasseh Jordan, stated in a recent video that victims of the alleged power bottom bishop are preparing to sue him. Remember when I said there were claims against him? This is exactly what I was referring to. Two of the offenders were not only a victim of grooming, as what I described, but of essay. So Manasseh Jordan, a former mentee of Bishop T.D. Jakes, who claimed that the prominent Dallas pastor groomed him, stated that more victims have come forward and he has spoken with them. It is no secret that Manasseh Jordan probably once laid his head upon Bishop T.D. Jakes's shoulders, as we've seen in the photo floating around, with Diddy's head resting on the shoulders of the Black Pope. It seems like Manasseh has finally found a way to escape from the hands of the enemy and is now using his platform to help other victims. In a video posted by Manasseh on December 30th, he discussed the new victims who have come forward against Bishop T.D. Jakes. Just recently today, I've heard from two other victims that, it's just a lot to talk about, that experienced the same thing that I experienced, Manasseh said in the video. Today I've heard from two other victims that, so it's just a lot to talk about that experienced the same thing that I experienced. Manassi alleges that two victims he spoke with were allegedly groomed and S.A.ed by Bishop T.D. Jakes. Elsewhere in the video, Manasseh alleged that the two victims he spoke with talked to him about the G allegedly carried out by Bishop T.D. Jakes. He said the victims told him that Bishop Jakes had also allegedly to them. Two of the offenders were not only a victim of G as what I described in some of my previous videos, but of S.A. S. Assault, Manasseh Jordan said, from the same predator that groomed me and violated me as a man. They're going to be pressing charges. From the same predator that groomed me. It's one thing to be openly against gay people. It's another thing for your son to be caught up in that very web you hate. But it's an entirely different story for you to be caught up in those very stories you so boldly stand against, wouldn't you agree? Even more so when there is a very obviously large possibility of it leading to a full-on legal battle. Well, seeing Manasseh's video struck a chord in a lot of people, as several of them took to social media to talk about his revelation on the preacher. One person wrote, Manasseh was so close to bursting into tears, I think he would have if he spoke any longer. He may say he's not a victim, I think he was a victim or came close to becoming one. Sad. Another person who was more focused on the people supporting the alleged assaulter added, I've seen and experienced this firsthand. His breakdown gave me chills. The spell over followers who worship these men and women as gods must be broken. Of course, the entire truth of this story is yet to be revealed, and while you could judge these people for reaching these conclusions without the entire story, T.D. Jakes hasn't exactly had a clean slate, even before these recent allegations. Only a couple of weeks back, the preacher was caught up in a situation involving a rapper. Let's just say that didn't help his credibility one bit. 
It's no secret that social media has become a dynamic platform where personalities rise to fame, trends emerge and dissipate, and controversies take center stage. The recent case involving famed cleric T.D. Jakes and rap mogul P. Diddy is a testament to this bustling online arena. T.D. Jakes, who at this point needs no introduction, found himself in the social media limelight, not for his religious teachings but for his alleged association with P. Diddy. The unusual alliance between these two contrasting figures has ignited a barrage of speculation and conspiracy theories. Although Diddy, aka Sean Combs, is no stranger to controversy, this recent revelation adds a fresh twist to the rapper's already controversial image. At the heart of the online commotion tied to these major figures are a series of allegations made by TikTok influencer Mai Shia. A viral video in which she made allegations about Diddy's past relationship with former partner Cassie, including physical and SA claims, happens to be at the center. Among the startling revelations were tales of wild S parties allegedly thrown by Diddy, where T.D. Jakes was rumored to be a frequent guest. Further fueling the fire, the video also hinted at a covert phone belonging to Diddy's late ex-girlfriend Kim Porter, a death that was already been wrapped in mystery and conjecture, with Diddy's name in the front lines. This explosive video took the internet by storm, with fans in shock, particularly concerning Bishop Jakes's alleged participation in these questionable activities. As soon as word of his alleged involvement with Diddy hit the media, several fans started to jump on the conversation, and one user even mentioned that this is only where it began. Begins. They wrote, This is just the beginning of what is about to unfold about T.D. Jake's ministries. There are a lot of skeletons in his closet as well as how the ministry was run as well. Jake's attending many of P. Diddy parties is just the tip of the iceberg. Stay tuned for more as it unfolds. Following the accusations against him and the slew of backlash that followed it on social media, the preacher appeared to have responded to the claims. During a recent service at his church that was streamed on YouTube, Jakes used his sermon to seemingly clear the air over the allegations, which he deemed completely false. Now I'm gonna close with this. I ain't come to convince you or nobody, because I know who I am. I didn't come to convince you or nobody because I know who I am, an emotional Jake said. That is not what this is about. You can think about whatever you want to think. I came to do my job. I came to prophesis as I was commanded. I came to hear the master say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. While nothing has been outrightly confirmed yet, Jake's colorful controversy shrouded history makes it difficult to pick his side on this. But maybe some undeniable evidence will come up and exonerate him. Who knows? That's it for this video. Goodbye. Man, the fact that TD Jakes is cool with Diddy, what type of preacher will be in leagues with Diddy? That alone is already, that's already mad suspicious and already damning. Like, dude, what type of preacher will be with Diddy? And then you can never, you can never trust a black guy who's calling himself Jake. Like, bro, <laughs> how could you trust a black guy calling himself T.D. Jakes? Like, what the hell? What type of name is that? <laughs> what type of name is that, bro? Is that supposed to be some religious name or something? I mean, bro, you could never trust a black guy calling himself Jake. Bro, come on, bro. <laughs> you made up a name and called yourself Jake, bro? That's crazy. Like, nah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joshing with y'all. But, um, but yeah, nah, that's hilarious. I mean, yeah, I mean, Jake's the whole the guy is trying to say. He's basically saying, I don't care. He basically just said, I don't care what y'all think. Hey, it is what it is. Like, I am who I am. I don't need to. What do you say? What do you say? I don't need to convince you or nobody because I know who I am. So he's basically saying, hey, it is what it is. If you believe that, then you can believe that. You know what I mean? Because. Diddy's on his shoulder, bro. Diddy's, bro. Diddy's right there, like that's his father, bro. Like that, 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 that that's crazy. I ain't lean on my own father's shoulder like that. Like that, that, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. So, you know what I mean? I think, um, I think they got some type of, you know, master and sibling uh, or master and like, um master and student type relationship where he's like oh okay you know i'm the preacher guy i could teach you the real things that you don't know about you know the um 
I could teach you what's really going on in the church. You know what I mean? I could put you on to how to really become, how to really get evil with it. Because if I'm running the churches and you're running all the um, rituals and all the parties and you're getting all the stuff that Cassie talked about in the lawsuit, you're doing all of these things, right? <laughs> if you're doing that and I'm running the churches, well, then we can come together and we can collaborate and we can um, we can cause a mass chaos, okay? You, you always need to remember that Freemasons, they believe in order about chaos, okay? They believe that order can only be brought through chaos, okay? They actually believe this. I swear to God, like, <laughs> like I didn't make that up, bro. I did not make that up. Order about chaos this is the Latin terminology for um, order out of chaos, okay? <laughs> so they believe that order can only be achieved through chaos, okay? So the idea is that, you know, someone like T.D. Jakes, though, you know, maybe some type of higher up person who's higher than both of them, some type of um, someone like a someone at the power level of Larry Fink. OK, the guy who owns BlackRock, someone at that power level, maybe they came and said like, hey, or someone like um, Clive Davis or someone like that or someone just at like a super high power level. Maybe they say like, hey, you know, maybe they put these two guys together. They get T.D. Jakes. They're like, hey, you have the church. And Diddy, you have the most disturbing parties ever. You know, <laughs> You have these private parties that were described in Cassie's lawsuit with these various things going on in the parties, as well as um, the guy from the other video, Fat Jew, uh, in GTA, you know what I mean? But yeah, that dude, that dude, y'all know who I'm talking about. He, The guy who said he was at Diddy's party with the producer, um, he also said that he saw rituals and that he saw like... You saw, like, you know, something about to pop off right there, bro. Diddy was with some other dude, and they were drinking champagne, and he said they were they were spooning. So he said that they were in a very compromising position. They were in a zesty position on the bed. And so you take that, and then you take the churches, and then you can corrupt it. You can, you can combine these two things to get a mass chaos, okay? You can corrupt everything. You can, com you can combine this. You take the innocent people from the church and you get them under this type of influence and you can corrupt everything and you can have everything turn chaotic. And so that's why two of these types of this is why these parties will be brought together. It's all about the duality. Why would you have a you have a preacher with someone who sold their soul to the devil? Do you understand how how opposite that is? That is literally dual. That is literally duality, bro. That is literally yin and yang. That is the farthest from each other. Someone who is a, a devil worshiper, P. Diddy, allegedly. Someone who is worshiping the devil, bro. Yes, worshiping demonic entities, demonic spirits. I don't care if you think it's one devil or whatever you think, okay? He's worshiping demonic spirits, point blank, period. This is a fact, okay? Well, allegedly, but this is, you know what I mean? Like, come on now. Come on, you guys. Come on now. Come on, you guys. He settled out of a lawsuit, dude. Okay, so... You're taking someone who worships demonic entities and does rituals to um, propel themselves through Hollywood. And then you're taking someone who's supposed to be a God fearing man and you're putting these parties together. That's why Freemasons believe in duality. They believe everything is two. They believe in good and evil. They believe in that there's two genders. You know what I mean? There's two. Everything is two. You know what I mean? And so they bring these two people together, these two opposites. And that's supposed to bring the order about chaos, order out of chaos. You know, throughout that, through that duality, you get order about chaos. This is why they have black and white parties. This is why they have the black and white Masonic um, chess floor. Okay. This is why duality. It's all about the order about chaos. So yeah, y'all, I mean, at the end of the day, it, it, you know, it all comes down to what we've, um, what we've explained, you know? Which is that if you sell your soul, you enter through the Faustian bargain, you enter through that pact. Well, now you're going to be in these situations. Now you're going to be. And the thing is, you don't even have to sell your soul. If you're around someone like T.D. Jakes and you're having his influence, that's going to corrupt you. You know? If you believe in what T.D. Jakes is telling you, you're going to be corrupted. Do you understand that? Because you're being misled by a charlatan and a, a deceiver. Okay, so you're going to be corrupted if you listen to T.D. Jake's messaging. You understand that, right? Like, you get that. You get that. Okay? So, that's the thing. And it's just like, 
You know, it's funny how Hollywood works. They'll get two people or they can get one person to deceive millions. So it's a very effective strategy if you think about it because, well, let's say you have 400 people and let's say one of them can only, let's say uh, bare minimum, one of them can deceive, let's say a million people. Well, if you have 400 of them, that's 400 million people that have been deceived. <laughs> it only takes 400 celebrities that can that can all and I'm I'm lowballing it like crazy. Usually one celebrity can influence way more than a million people. You know what I mean? Like think about one major celebrity like Beyonce or someone like that. They can usually influence way more than a million people. Like I I'm lowballing it like crazy or Drake or something like that. And if you take Imagine if you had imagine if you only had even 10 people like that. You now you've misled 10 million people bare minimum. And if you if let's say they could all influence 10 million people, like because we know Drake and Beyonce have more influence than even that. But let's lowball it. Let's lowball it and say they can only influence 10 million people. You get 10 people like that and they they they've deceived 100 million people into following um Freemasonry. Okay? And in believing Masonic values and um and also basically embracing the imagery, embracing the artist, embracing the whole system, the whole entire construct of order about chaos, of order out of chaos, okay? You're embracing the order out of chaos, okay? When you embrace an artist like Sexy Red, who is a Freemason, that is embracing the order out of chaos. Guess what that does? That destroys the young woman, and then that adds to the whole chaotic situation in the society. You understand? Like, when you support, <laughs> I don't think you guys are understanding what I'm telling you. Like, if you support, this is the most important thing you've ever heard in your entire life, in existence, okay? This is the most important thing in history that I'm telling you right now, right in this very moment. I hope you are grasping this. Like, are you grasping the, the actual weight, the actual gravity of what I'm telling you? Are you? You must be grasping this, okay? If you support an artist like, Sexy Red, Ice Spice, Cardi B, any of these people, any of these names, if you support that, you are supporting the order out of chaos agenda. You are supporting the Masonic ritual. <laughs> you're, you're supporting the whole, there is a Masonic world, there's a world scheme in the free Masonic um, plot and agenda. And if you support these certain people, you're supporting that agenda and you're you're helping that meet fruition so that it can actually be completed. And then all the people, everyone can be misled. Everyone, all the youth can be misled and destroyed. And then all the society will become, it will be, it will descend into madness, into chaotic madness. And that's the end goal of Freemasonry. That's the end goal of the whole entire system, bro, is to descend this entire society and for it to degenerate into madness and chaos, which is already happening, you guys. It's already happening. You're already seeing it. You know, for the people who have their eyes open, it's as obvious, it's as bright as broad day. Okay? <laughs> like, like, it's as bright as broad day. It's like as obvious as it can get, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, literally, like, you know, anyone with two eyes and two ears could see and hear this. Literally, if you if you are paying attention and 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 actually analyzing observable reality and not just letting things just fly by you, just letting just life go by you. You know, if you're actually wa listening and paying attention, you can see all of these things before it even happens. But yeah, y'all. If you enjoyed the video, like the video. Let me know what y'all thought. What do y'all think about the points that were brought up in this video about T.D. Jakes, Diddy, and the rumors and everything that's being confirmed and alleged and being alleged? What do y'all feel? Do you, do you guys disagree with the points that were brought up in the video? Do you agree? Like the video and obviously subscribe if you watch this content. If you actually watch my videos, it says like 50% of y'all or whatever, 70% or aren't subscribed. So that's obviously an issue. Like, <laughs> right? So, I mean, it would be great if y'all subscribed and um turn on the notification bell so that you guys can always get notifications when the videos are coming out um but yeah for the people who always like the videos who always comment who always show support for the people who are always doing that i really appreciate you guys it's every, that means everything to me like you guys are literally supporting a movement that doesn't just mean everything to me that means everything to the entire existence of everything that means everything to everything Okay, like, like, I don't think you understand the weight of it. Okay, it actually means everything to everything, not just to me. You know, I'm irrelevant in the idea in the matter, you know, what matters is the movement and the effect of the support that you guys are showing um, 
in these certain the, to this messaging. You know what I mean? You need to be if you agree with this messaging, you should be you should be sharing this messaging. Tell someone you know about it. You know what I mean? Like the video, interact. That's all it is. You know, put that put that effort forward too. You know, we all got to put effort forward here. You know what I mean? We all got to put effort forward here to get this message out to actually make things move forward or nothing will ever change in the society. Do you understand that? Like I you have to understand that. Like that is such a um that is such a fundamental concept right there, right? Like it, <laughs> nothing will change if we don't actually put in the effort to make it happen. <laughs> you know you know what I'm saying? So if you support the content, if you enjoy the content, I appreciate you. We couldn't do it without you. But um, yeah, if you enjoy the content, share, like, subscribe, all of that. But yeah, let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below, y'all. And this snow is right here. Be easy, y'all.